Hey guys, welcome to Anna's Bakery food vlog. Um, who can guess what we're doing today? Okay, fine. We're doing butternut squash um, porridge. I'll be telling you a little bit about this and why we're doing something different from our usual today. As we go on, you know. So, first thing first, okay, yeah, yeah we, that's our vegetable. That's a mixture of kale, spinach, and what else one in there? Greens. Well, you could really just use your ugu. <laughs> then, we got our tomatoes that, I'm going to blend all of this. I just wanted you guys to see what goes in there. The tomatoes, the onions, the bell pepper, the, um, you know, that's what goes on this. Um, Tatashe. Then, ooh, ooh, these are seasonings, it really don't matter. And um, I'm going to put a little bit of shrimp. Yup, and there's a secret behind my shrimp. The way I do the lights do, especially if I'm going to fry, no, we try not to fry, so and fry it, you know. Um, but the main secret, and it tastes so good, but the main secret really is just coconut. The other things I put in it, I really can't tell you because it's my baby. But basically, just put coconut in it too and let it sit and it tastes also oh good. And um, what else I need to tell you guys? Because I'm going to tell you the major part of the info as we go on. So these are the butternut squash right here. Yep, this is it. So I'm going to be cutting this in a bit. And I'm going to sh show you how we make the porridge. Alright, I'm excited. Okay, guys, so I've cut them into bits and um, so now I'm putting them, leaving it to boil, just a little bit of water. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blend all of this goodness, yep, they go in the blender, alright. Hey guys, so we've got the squash cooking. Now I'm just about to turn in. Remember what I said I was gonna blend? Yeah, this is all of it. So we're gonna turn the, all of this in. Now let it cook with it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of water in it, so that's good enough. That's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And allow it to cook together. This is just enough because I didn't add more of water, water. And you can put your maggi in now if you want to, but I think I'll wait. I don't want to put it now. I'll let this boil a little bit before I put the maggi in. And then you can put your fish, your shrimp, whatever you want to go. I'm going to let this boil for a bit. Ooh, so we're about ready to put in um, our fish and shrimp. The fish, definitely gonna start it by, you know, because there's really no point. There it goes. That's our fish. And lastly, our shrimp. And we need all of those to boil. I've got a ton because of the seasoning I put in it. Hmm. You see how good this is looking? Those shrimps are cooked, mind you. In case you're wondering, they're not raw. Because <laughs> I just threw them. They actually cooked shrimps. Ok. 
Okay, so we're going to leave this to boil. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to leave it to boil. That's it. Okay, guys. So we're going to put in the last thing because our part is almost ready. Yep. Our vegetables and our food is ready. All they do is not in the when I've got to get Food is ready. Okay, so in goes the vegetables and that's all. I put it ready. I'll show you the final product. You know, but it is ready now. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so this is our final product. And doesn't it look like plantain, potato, yam, porridge? It should ooh, I think I forgot to tell you guys why I said we should do butternut instead of the regular. Um, okay, I did that because butternut actually it does have fat a little bit, but they unsaturated fat, and that you actually should be consuming unsaturated fat. You know, they 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 take longer time to to digest, and it has fiber, which is actually very good for you. Yep, it has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B, iron, magnesium, has a little bit of calcium in it. You know. Yeah, actually, the, and there are other good things that it does for you. Um, let me see, like, um, um, it's actually good for your, um, it's important for your heart, kidney, muscle, and also for digestive functions. Yeah. And um, what else have I not said? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. It has a lot of vitamin C, I believe I've said that. You know, it's really good to eat it, you know, like half of the whole bunch that gets you a lot of vitamins and you know, rather than eating the the, the yams that contain basically starch in the first place, you know, it's good to start eating healthy. So this is part of like my healthy program, not really healthy program, but like my healthy food series and alternatives because we have people come tell you don't eat this don't eat that cut off eating this well there's really not much information on the dough healthy alternatives to these foods so this is me trying to show you that there's always a healthy alternative you just gotta find out you know so I'm doing my own research and anything I find out I'll definitely show you guys you know beef food and yeah I guess so this is me just starting a new journey of wanting to eat healthy and and i'm sharing the journey with you guys so i hope we enjoy it. i hope we benefit from this because please it's better we live a healthy life we want to live healthy not just for ourselves but for our families too so yeah thanks guys for watching again thank you for watching anna's bakery food vlog have a good day thank you